Okay, so I'm back again, and today is going to be a fabulous day of fashion show. Hanging out with Butler. Uh, say hey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hanging out with Butler. Hanging out with Fabulous. Uh, and doing another change up, switch up outfit show uh, for myself. Yeah. And so look. Huh? 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, for Bella. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Bella gets to sit in, in my live. It lies a living color. Yeah, so brothers from an audience of one. Yeah, well, an audience of uh, one and the vast angels and God. But you know, they all got front seats. God said, what you gonna do today, girl? <laughs> I said, what you gonna do today, girl? I was like, well, you know, I was going to like, do a little fashion show. And so look, so me and brother playing off of this look. Like, I ain't got no shame now. Show them all the flat chest. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I just thought about this too, brother. Uh, that uh, you know, for years, you know, I like to see my flat chest. Yeah, well, I had to look wear a um, a stain with a pad of bra on. <laughs> Yeah, look, I, I, I really didn't want Bella seeing it. Uh, we making love. I really didn't want to see my naked, my naked body with my flesh chest. Yeah. Bella, no. I'm a whole different type of creature now, I am Bella. Yeah, I'm a whole. Look, so look, uh, Bella, um, and so I'm playing around with this. Well, you know what? Well, this is Bella's creation. Oh, this turns into a fabulous wraparound dress. Yeah, I mean, look, this up before your very eyes. Yeah. You know what? I ain't trying to get perfect because it's too hot to be wearing all this. But I'm on my vacation. And this is my other look. It is so long. You would trip over this, so you gotta keep pulling it up. I say don't trip over. That's how long it is. So how you like this love? You love it. Oh, I'm loving it too. It's cute. It's cute. So that's one look. This thing is so versatile, 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 however you pronounce it. Uh, you know the word I'm saying, whichever, uh, however uh, my pronunciation is all for on point. Uh, there's so many looks with this. Oh, and, I got, and I'm hanging out with my boy Fabulous. Look, that's my anthem right there. Oh, that's a story right there. Uh, that's a story time. So, I hope that, oh my goodness, because if Facebook is, well, you listening to it, but if Facebook block all this shit out, and I'm hanging with my boy Fabulous, and I'm telling this, I got a story to go with this song. Well, tell me you on the mic, so I got to sing it. Well, I, even when I do that, Facebook still blocks us. They said, well, I don't know if y'all, yeah, yeah, even when I do put that uh, disclaimer on there. Facebook would still block out portions of the video. Even if, yeah. So anyway, which is totally ridiculous. So, I'm sure my wrinkle belly got to do my tummy tuck my magic. I got to do my magic tummy tuck. Cause I was, I was looking at one of my videos while I'm like, damn, I'm just sitting up in a chair and I look and all my wrinkles just showing and shit. <laughs> and I'm sitting down and I'm comfortable with myself. I'm like, damn, all my wrinkles showing. Like, the fuck God said. Now who cares if another motherfucker said? So I'm like, yeah, my belt. Look, I'm not saying, look, I, I really didn't like it. I'm not gonna delete the motherfucking video just because I'm sitting there with a, a, a bag full of wrinkle belly showing. I said, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna delete the shit. Because, uh, guess what? I'd rather have a bag full of sit down, wrinkle belly, than a big old tire hanging over my shit. You know what I mean? Have you seen that lately, bellies? The what? Bellies, lately. Lately, bellies, what's that? Have you seen lately? Bellies, lately. How many bellies out here? Well, I don't know. I've been. What you mean? Oh, oh, right, that, right, my like, shit. If um, if these motherfuckers with these spare tires can show they shit, shit, I ain't got no problem being, I ain't got no shame in my game and showing off my little shit. I had eight babies, so uh, I can get away with having a wrinkle belly. <laughs> yeah, look, I can, look, I can proudly walk around with my little wrinkle belly, but I ain't. I'm gonna do my magic. I'm gonna do my magic tummy. Um, Cool trick. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, so uh, even if I don't, the point being is, if everybody can probably walk around with a spare tire hanging over their shit, uh, I can walk around with my wriggle belt, right? Amen. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? I'm so glad I got some coffee. Brother keeps me coffee. Now I got something to talk about. And it's going to be like a vent session. Well, not a vent session. It ain't a vent session. Shit, it's the fact. The fact, right? Huh? Your husband home. No, but brother said my husband home. <laughs> well, he ain't at home because his home is over there. But my husband is here at my home. So my husband home. He home there where used to be his home. <laughs> oh, we had a good time today. Oh, look. I'm going to get a little bold. Look, I'm going to keep it real. You know what? Oh, this is what I'm do today. So this is playtime. And so this is gonna get raunchy. This is gonna get real raunchy. So I'ma um act like this is a Patreon page. Oh, it's a Patreon page. I'm act like it's a fans only page. Ooh, it's gonna get raunchy today. We're gonna do some grown folks talking today, brother. Huh? Well, yeah, we've been grown, but you know, uh, I gotta keep my uh, conversation censored. Uh, so grown talk, grown, you know what? Um, grown folks talk. Let's start off the conversation with grown folks talk because I noticed that my first video that, that me and brother did, I don't know why. Facebook deleted that shit, wouldn't even let it post. After we did the live, I'm like, how come I should do that? So, like I guess I gotta say, look, take another shot at it. Do it again. Okay. Um, so, there is life after a breakup. There's life after a breakup. There is, because me and Bubba have a really good friendship. It ain't, it ain't the best friendship, but look, we got a better friendship than we had a better marriage. Right, Bubba? Uh, Alexa, pause the music, please. Because this is what I want to say without Facebook blocking my stuff out. And this is, uh, I was deemed as uh, some good, helpful advice to, because there is friendship after marriage. There is friendship with a mate, former mate, after divorce. So even though me and Bella and I technically, so it's like, ooh, tell your business like that? Uh, it ain't really telling your business. It's about Fuck if you know. Fuck who here. Because God see it all. And so, uh, I don't... It ain't nobody like, oh, she talked to me. She telling all her business. Don't listen. Um, and so, it ain't really telling... Okay, what you tell? Uh, yeah, right. Because um, the way I do it, it might be helpful for another motherfucker. Oh, another motherfucker. I'm looking out the window. Another motherfucker just zooming past. All these motherfuckers driving around. I opened my door earlier. A car be zooming fast as hell. Everybody trying to get speed bumps on their blocks now. Oh, I'm not. Father Joe, but pray for these idiots out here that's driving like that. They're going to put speed bumps oh, on their blocks. Please don't let it be no oh, accident in these neighborhoods driving like Somebody this. Somebody get some kids. Oh, oh please, Father Joe. Let me see how to send a prayer out. Father Joe, but please, these non thinking people that's driving around this neighborhood, residential areas, streets with kids all in, please don't let it be no accidents where kids get. Ran over hit by a car because these idiots want to, flat out idiots, want to drive around fast. Amen. Mm. So, uh, about, I did say it was going to be kind of a rant. So, that's rant two. Uh, uh, oh, I, I blocked. Oh, um, therapy time. I guess it is going to be kind of therapy time. So, the, the therapy time in, like, so this is open council session. So open council session discussing how me and brother are we the best friends because I, I do have to give him a time out and send him the fuck away from me because brother just got back in my graces didn't you brother just got back he just got back in my graces how long we we ain't talked and seen each other brother three weeks three weeks <laughs> I had to get one of the time out I'm like look as much as I love his house because you know I did videos for his house I showed his house like beautiful house which I deem my personal. Airbnb. I'm probably hanging out with Bella. But now it's like I'm hanging out with y'all because I'm over here talking to this. But hey, uh, Bella don't mind. Nope. No, because now instead of him being on that side of the camera, he's on this side of the camera. Look, instead of you being on this side of the camera, you 
You see the back of my head. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on stage. Back, back, in the, back in the stage. Well, you know what? You like backstage and you backstage. like live audience too. Yeah, backstage. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's backstage. Yeah, from the backstage. Yeah. Uh, can I go? Forgot what I was talking about, though. No, I'll be talking. I know. Uh, <laughs> what I was talking about. <laughs> no, what? Because I really. Fuck it. Uh, well, I did say. I did hit the joint. Oh, because this is what I was going to talk about. I mean, what the fuck? Because you know, I be doing this wild shit, talking this wild shit, right? And uh, this is what I uh, had a thought to myself, right, about this. I was like, yeah. Uh, I know I talk about, about you know, judgmental motherfuckers. And uh, this is what I was saying. I had this thought. I'm going to talk about this, God. I said, uh, Christians, I think Christians are the ju I think Christians are the most judgmental mofos there are. I was going to say motherfuckers. Oh, well, I'm, I am going to say motherfuckers because Facebook ain't going to block me out for saying motherfuckers. They won't censor me. Yeah, so. Uh, and I know I'm supposed to stop cursing. I'm going to try to stop cursing. Facebook knows motherfuckers out there. Yeah, Facebook knows motherfuckers out God knows motherfuckers out here. And so, two points. Uh, but I am, I seriously am going to stop trying to curse so much. But, motherfucker, they're right there. I don't use it in a vile text, in a vile context. You know what I'm saying? And so, when I say motherfuckers, it's motherfuckers out here. And so, uh, mm -hmm. that being that, Christians are the most just, well, I ain't going to say all Christians. Not all Christians. But I would say, in general, Christians are the most judgmental motherfuckers there are, really. Because I know, I used to be a Christian, and I'm not a Christian no more. I um, I follow Christ. I don't call myself a Christian. I, no, I just came to this realization. I'm not going to call myself a Christian. No, I am not a Christian. Because Christians are judgmental motherfuckers. Because you stand a Christian next to whoever, atheist, who gonna judge you? If you stand a Christian and an atheist next to, stand a Christian, I'm a Christian. It's an atheist. Well, hang on. I, ain't, I ain't a Christian. I'm not a Christian. I ain't. Um, but I, and I don't practice religion. Okay, that shit up. Didn't know I was giving up, but yeah. Um, Just God's child. Yeah, well, no, uh, I, as we all are, I'm God's child, and I practice, I practice spirituality is what I do. So I don't practice religion, because religion is a, that's a, it's a game, it's a slave trap, it's a, all that bullshit in the mix. But, stand and do my, do my magic. Cause I ain't trying to show off my, even though I'm liberated from myself and that, you know, I can be comfortable with my, yes, my son just pulled up my mom. Um, I'm comfortable with myself and my dummy, my, um, with my, yeah, my, um, yeah, but I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna do my magic trick while I talk, while I talk. It just looks, just looks oh so nicely. It's safe, too, right? So, let me do that. So, um, yes. Christians are... Oh, so, what I was saying is, you stand a Christian, and you stand a atheist next to each other, and you have a hottie thotty toddy walking past, and her booty shorts popping, her boobs doing, and all that cleavage showing... If I had cleavage, I ain't got cleavage. I got black chest. But, you know, all that showing. Who's going to uh, be judgmental and talk about it? Like, oh, oh, look at her. Look at all like that. Oh, she knows she shouldn't be dressed like that. Oh, no. A, a Christian. A Christian going to say that shit because uh, an atheist going to be like, oh, she looking nice. Woo, buddy poppy girl. I like them. I like the racks. <laughs> booty poppy. Woo, baby got mine. Yeah. An atheist ain't gonna be judgmental. An atheist ain't work what you got. Work what your mama gave you, girl. Uh, only a Christian would be like, mm, no, she ain't supposed to be dressing like that. Wait, who gave you the motherfucker? Oh, be nice. This is what I thought earlier. I woke up with this on my mind. Thank you, Spirit, for let me speak on it. I woke up uh, with this on my mind. Oh, let me get my. Uh, Airbrush. 
I should put my mic in because I know my voice tends to trail. Uh, so I hope y'all can hear, still hear me talk in the airbrush. Because I am. <laughs> this is my fabulous day. My fabulous day. And I was going to have me a nice fabulous picnic. With my little, uh, I'll spread my little throat. Let's call my house spread on my grass. Have no, I hang out your house alone. That's why you over here hanging out with me. I'm not hanging out his house alone. As much as I love his house, right? Well, that's another uh, another topic we're going to discuss after I finish just talking about Christians. And look, and guess what? I could talk about them motherfucking Christians all I want to talk about. Even though I used to be a Christian. And the way I say Christians are judgmental motherfuckers, because like, like I just said, that among many other reasons. Uh, because they would condemn a motherfucker before God would. I'm like, wait a minute, you going to, oh, she cut too much. Oh, she's just a vibe. I ain't vibe with my shit. I know I curse. Shit. Oh, who was that? Was it Saul and Barnabas? They had a shock outburst of words. They probably cursed each other out. That motherfucker, motherfucker, da da da. I don't know if they had motherfuckers back in the Jews back in the, in the day back then. But yeah, they, the, the Bible records and said they had a, a sharp outburst of words between one another. To where they was like, motherfucker, you go that way. Get the fuck on, Paul or Saul or whoever they was, you know. You know, if I'm getting the names wrong, well, excuse me, uh, Christian motherfuckers. Uh, yeah. But anyway. Come on your video, don't spook. Oh, be careful. Yeah, yeah, watch that bar. Yeah, that bottom bar will make it true. Say hey, the Gavala. Hey. Peace. Yeah, peace. Look, stand right there. Let's, let's, uh, oh, let's time castle this. Come here, stand right here. What's that? Time castle this for me. Right. Yeah, no, stand next to me. Stand next mm. to me. Uh, Oh, we kind of got to get back. Mm -hmm. I need a hug all over. Oh, we ain't taking a picture. Right, okay, you can't. Right. <laughs> Look, mm -hmm. no. Uh, like, oh, so pose like we... Let's get a stand back one. Get your whole head. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like like we taking a picture. Cheese. <laughs> oh, like we had the J.C. Penny photography studio. Please don't grab. Oh. Um. Get your shit all right. <laughs> yeah. Look. Show look. It up. Yeah. Uh, pose. Yeah, pull up. That's tight. <laughs> I'll I hold it. Uh, look, uh, cheese. I'm taking a picture. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> uh, look, we got, remind me to discuss our relationship. Yeah, you gotta discuss I want to discuss it. Because, um, well, I want to discuss our relationship and that it's good therapy a couple of times to show that there is life after divorce. There is friendship after marriage. You still can, well, no. remind me, I got something I want to speak on that. Just remind me, you just saying. But I got to finish talking about this. And I don't want to talk too long on this. Uh, ooh, I ain't trying to make no enemies. To finish, okay. Well, I'm done with the uh, Christians. Yeah, I'm done with that rant, but this is another rant. Oh, we're still about Christian. So. I had this thought in my head this morning. I woke up about me because I know I curse too much. I had this thought. Christians, those be the motherfuckers that be like, oh, she cursed too much. Why she got to curse too much? Be like, what? And then, then I had to thought, I know I curse too much. I gotta stop cursing. I really do know I curse too much. I gotta stop cursing. But at the same time, I don't need no Christian motherfuckers telling me, oh, girl, you curse too much. You should not do no, no, You know, guess what? <laughs> If uh, if it, if it is Saul and Barnabas, they had those were the two that had this sharp outburst of words between one another. Guess what? God used them. God used them. So I take it as God used them. And then another thing on that, well, um, turn it down a little bit, brother. Uh, brother, brother. I can hear that. Ain't you? Um, uh, um. About, um, see, I got the stretch. See, that's what I do. I got to keep it, chain it up. Then, anyway, oh, you distracted me. You're all right. I know I'm all right because, uh, uh, really, you know, I'm just rushing myself. I'm rushing myself because I know I'm talking to this, this right here, and I'm rushing myself. And I'm trying to rush myself, get back on track, and God say, you know what, fuck them people. <laughs> and, Calm your soul. Yeah. 
Take a deep breath and then you get me. back on track. Huh? Don't worry about it. Oh, I ain't trying to, but I'm trying to make a point. I'm making a point. Oh, about this right here. That I know I'm supposed to be stopped cursing. Oh, so this is another one. This is a uh, look. And then uh, this change up into a different look. Uh, do a nice little belly uh, cover up wrap. This is so versatile. I love this. But you know what? This should have been, this would have been even cuter if they had the print on both sides. It was just dark, dark on the inside as a web level. Ooh, maybe if I turn it inside out, how would that look? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. See how it look. Um, so my thought that I woke up this morning with was this. That, okay. I know, I, 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 and I really do know I curse too much, and I am going to work on that. But uh, and then I do know it's a, it's very offensive to Christians. You know, you know when I say Christians are the most judgmental motherfuckers, I don't mean it to like you know gain enemies or you know say anything bad. But you know, because it's a shoe fits. Don't <laughs> make it mad again, Bubba. <laughs> I'm sorry. I showed. Oh my goodness! I caught myself on that one. But look, it's a shoe fits. If it don't apply, if, if it if it don't apply, let it fly. Don't get just because I call uh, Christians judgmental motherfuckers. Don't get mad if it, if you're not a judgmental Christian motherfucker. You just say, hey, I'm a Christian. I don't judge people. I'm not talking about you then. I'm talking about the the ones that be like, hmm, look at her, those them. Um, and so the ones that be like, oh girl, I gotta turn her shit off because she just cursed too much. Those ones I'm talking about. Because why should you condemn me and when God, God has not. Because how, how many times have I um, been cursing and uh, making these videos? Oh, let me get cute while I'm saying that. Because how many times have I been cursing and making these videos and um, God ain't shut me the fuck up yet? Because it's and there's another uh, that I can back it up with scripture. I can't recall, you know, the point I was like, uh, this right here, Habakkuk, da, da 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 No, I can't do it like that, but I know it's up in there. Uh, where there was uh, the uh, Bible characters. Okay. Ooh. Um, ooh, I don't know. So there was a Bible character, and his elderly wife was going to have a baby. He couldn't believe it. He couldn't, he couldn't believe it. And so, look, and God, so you don't believe me? I couldn't take your speech. So, look, he could not talk. He could. I think I talked about that, right? I think I did talk about that. Yeah, I did talk about that. He couldn't talk. And then after the child was born, he's like, oh, God is true. God is, yeah, God is right. God is a miracle. Oh. And then God granted him his speech back. And he was able to speak. So, I take that as if, if, if I really was, was cursing too much. God would strike me mute. Like, didn't I tell you? I, did you curse too much? I, until the day God takes my voice. He said, you know, and God tells me, girl, I've been sending people your way to tell you to stop cursing. You wouldn't listen to them. You just thought you were so right. So I have to take your voice. You can't talk no more. Not only can you talk no more, you definitely can't curse no more. I'm like, oh, damn, God, I know. I, I, thought, I thought. I took it as, well, you know, Saul and Barnabas, they was cursing. And, and since you was able to take that man's speech and give it back to him to teach him a lesson, uh, I figure since you ain't took my voice away and you keep, you know, letting me pop on here to make videos, and I, you know, I'll be trying my best, my best not to curse God, but... Sometimes I get, because I am human, and sometimes I, you know, get all upset. What's this? Hey, cuz, how you doing, girl? Uh, well, you popped in late, but, you know. <clears throat> Let me finish telling the story. And it's probably fill you back in on it. We'll just go back and watch it later. I don't know. Um, but, talking to God, and this uh be in my community with God. Yeah, and so, um, I figure, if, 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 <clears throat> excuse me, if my cursing, and I really do apologize if I offend anybody with my foul words, but, um, yeah, I, I do, I, I do really sincerely apologize if I offend anybody with my foul words, if I 
if, if I offended any Christians, but get back to <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> But I honestly do take it as uh, until the day God strikes me down, like had enough of you and your cursing words. You know, I, I I sent warning your way, but I'm not kind of taking them to when people come to me like, girl, stop, you know, stop cursing too much. You, you should be cursing and saying God in the same sentence, you know, talking about, I can make a video talking about God and you be cursing and you be saying, what the fuck, those motherfuckers, God, did you see that motherfucker? Like that, like how could she be a, a true Christian and she be saying, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that's being judgmental. Actually, that really is being judgmental. Say that for God. Say it for God. Don't do God's job in trying to judge me. Say it for God. Because if God ain't shut me the fuck up, if God ain't shut me the fuck up, don't think you're going to shut me the fuck up. <laughs> I'm done with that public. Look, that was a uh, public that, service announcement. That was that was a public service that was a public service announcement brought to you by God. Okay, and at the same time, I'm kind of doing like a, a little fashion show, uh, showing off the the many diversity of ways you can wear this thing, and um, doing my right before your very eyes, Ooh, bad daddy, right before your very eyes, my magical. Yeah, coming through the door. <coughs> hey there. Hey, mother. Hey there. How you doing? Okay, good. Right in the middle of production. Uh, and let me time capsule this for myself. Let me get a shot of my handsome son when he come all the way through the door. Say hey to the people for me, please, sir. Yeah, that's my handsome son that God blessed me with, my last child. He's a handsome one. He's a handsome one. Oh, look what he got. He said playboy, playboy, playboy on the back of his shirt. Yeah. Oh, looking good on you too. Look, um, third time. So when he was a little boy, I'm gonna, look, I'm going to pull up pictures and post them. When he was young, oh, look, the way his hair looks now, yeah, he had beautiful, he looks to twist it up. You know, little faux dress, twisted up. He was looking so cute. But, and he started school with him, and he had his, I used to, oh, I got to pull up that picture right there, where I pulled his hair back tight into two, uh, I call him my stoop dog ponytail. Oh, looking so cute, sitting on his little toy, uh, 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 ranger. I'm going to pull up that picture and show you, look, cute boy then, handsome man now. Uh, I cut all his hair off. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? Uh, he's a cute, cute little boy. And you know what? Uh, he was an ugly baby. <laughs> he was. Brian got mad at me when I said he, you know, he was my ugly dog. Look, you can wear it like this too. Yeah, but you know, uh, truth be told, all babies don't come out cute. There is some ugly babies out there, right? And Seth, uh, well, Seth came out. He was not. Now, my cutest baby, I'm, I'm telling the stories all over the place. I'm just all over the place. One more time, I I'm just all over the place. Uh, like I gotta tell it sometime, capsule in this for myself. Oh. Um, yeah. So my cutest baby was Daddy. Oh, I think it was a cute baby. Cause Vicky was more before Daddy. Yeah, Jenny was. Oh, Jenny was my beautiful baby. She was my beautiful uh, dark chocolate baby. Uh, oh, and then Amy came along. Oh, and Amy was my beautiful baby. And then Ricky came along. Oh, Ricky was a handsome baby. He was. He was a handsome baby. He was beautiful. And then Debbie came along. Debbie was my most beautiful baby. Oh, she was. She was just a little doll. And then, uh, and then Ryan came along right after her. And look. And so every time I was having these baby back, back to back, baby after baby after baby. And then so, and with Debbie being my most beautiful baby, I just knew she, my baby's getting pretty. Every, every baby I pop out, they getting pretty and pretty, right? And then, so with Ryan being born next, ooh, I just knew I was going to have a. Because if, if Ricky was a pretty baby, he was a, he wasn't as beautiful as Debbie, but he was a pretty baby. And so with Debbie being a beautiful baby, I just knew my next baby after Debbie because they was just getting pretty and pretty. Ooh, it's just, it's just my gorgeous child. I probably could have put 
put put in the magazines and all that, you know, mm -hmm. little baby appetites and all that. He came out looking like my ugly duck one. He, he was not my pretty child. He, he wasn't. He wasn't. Honestly, truth be told, uh, I hope you don't get mad at me talking about it, but truth be told, he wasn't my, uh, yeah. See, oh, this is the part he got mad about. Guess what? I'm going to talk what she wanted to talk about. If I said I want to say it again. Uh, so I was talking to Ava. You know, and, I, and I was not being mean, nasty, you know, saying it maliciously. So, oh, yeah. I meant to put something in there. I knew it was getting low, but I got distracted. Sorry about that. Okay, you're welcome. Um... Interruption of life. So, um, so then, so, you know, because I, I talk, when I talk, you know, I was telling Ava, I was like, yeah, you're, because Ava, she's a gorgeous child. Oh, she's a, yeah, she's a gorgeous, she's a gorgeous child. I, I'm not being, you know, uh, I guess partial, but she, she's gorgeous, she's gorgeous. Yeah, she's a, she's a gorgeous child. Um, and this, so, so, so I'm telling Ava about when her daddy was a baby and that he, he was not, he was my ugly duckling baby. He was, he, he was, um, oh, oh, so yeah, this is the part of the story. And so I had told Ava, and I was like, yeah, I was expecting, you know, uh, after Debbie, my next baby was Ryan, I was expecting him to be, yeah, you know, shoo. A, a, a notch above because they were all getting more beautiful and beautiful. I thought uh, Ryan was going to be more beautiful than Daddy. And then it was a disappointment when he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, he came out. He was like, it was one, look, Ryan was one of those babies only your mother could love. And I actually cried. But you know what? But um, as I was trying to explain, that was my own, I was really revealing my own vanity. For me to cry because I got an ugly baby. Yeah, that was really that was really me revealing my own vanity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Um. Well, you know, I, I ain't talk about him because he was a beautiful baby to me, but he wasn't as beautiful as my other baby. And you know how when babies be born, and people are like, oh, he's so cute. I ain't getting none of that. You know, like, oh, you know, you know, cause cause I do the shit. You know, oh. Cause if it's a cute baby, I'm gonna say, "Oh, it's a cute baby." But if it's not a, a cute baby, I'm like, "Oh, look what he got on. He's so cute. Look what he got on. Oh, oh, you got her. She's so cute." Because if you an ugly baby, you don't call an ugly baby a cute baby. You say, "Oh, the dress is so cute. Oh, I like that little handsome outfit." Because you don't never call a um, uh, uh, you don't never call a, a ugly baby a cute baby lying like that. But anyway, I didn't lie to myself. I didn't. I didn't lie to myself. I he he was an ugly baby and and I cried. I honestly cried. I didn't cry publicly, and, you know, secretly. And I I, I did share some tears though. But he was but he was a uh, he wasn't an, an atrocious like Quasimodo baby. He was just a, because of my vanity. I wanted a gorgeous baby, and he didn't come out gorgeous. Ooh, maybe God made my heart or something. I don't know. But guess what? God made up for it because look, uh, he grew up. So you know Ryan had that big old rock head. Who, who don't know that? And so Ryan, he grew up into his looks. And so he blossomed. He was an ugly baby that blossomed. Uh, he was my ugly duckling baby that blossomed into a handsome man. You can't tell me Ryan ain't a handsome motherfucker. Ryan's a handsome motherfucker. That's not Ryan's a handsome man. Yeah, I got a, I got all a handsome son. Yeah. Sad. Shit, she could sell. Like, sad handsome. But look. Say, he hear my word, uh, and he could go back and look at his own picture. Say, I wasn't no cute baby either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say, I wasn't a look, but he a handsome ass man now. And so, yeah. He, I wasn't always looking Yeah, he wasn't, look, look, out of his own mouth. He wasn't always looking this good. Because, look, when Seth was young, he had, look, that's what, uh, Seth, I'm going to pull up that picture too. Yeah, he had that big ass full pop in his head, and, uh, he was, he, he was not a, um, a uh, pretty baby either, but he was a baby that I loved, and he grew up into a handsome man. So yeah, I really have ugly babies that grow into handsome men that have pretty babies that grow into, ooh, she was pretty. Looking, I wasn't always looking this good either, y'all. Right. <laughs> right, it was just so full of love. Uh, no, you always look the same way, because uh, that little 10-year-old picture of yours, you was the same way. He probably was a managed little 10-year-old boy. <laughs> I bet he was a managed, uh, managed little boy. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, so I had cut all uh, fat hair off uh, because he wasn't a pretty baby, but he grew up to be a beautiful boy, a beautiful Tyler, grew up to be a beautiful boy, and then he was a beautiful little boy. He was, oh my goodness, that was, I got all my eye on, pull my pictures and post it. That was a beautiful little boy with all his dress and his two pot, no, not two pot, his uh, Snoop Dogg ponytails. Yeah, I got to show you that picture. And, uh... Yeah, of course his child had long hair. His hair at five years old was like the length of his hair now as a grown man. But I cut his shit off because I was like, oh, he getting to be too cute. And I didn't want him growing up to be conceited. Because if I, then sometimes like, man, I wish I had not cut his hair because then he would have had a long, luscious head full of hair. But then again, that's what I was avoiding. I didn't want him to have long, luscious locks full of hair because my mentality back then when I was a, a younger mother, I didn't want him to grow up and be conceited. Look, as cute and as cute, oh my goodness, he just would have been growing up, he would have been too, he would have been cuter and cuter and cuter with all this um, Absalom hair, because it would have been, yeah, lush like Absalom, right? Yeah. And I, I, I wasn't trying to take no chances on him being, he, him growing up to be a conceited uh, too much for himself, little boy. But he can be uh, as handsome as he want to be now. He a grown man. He take care of his own hair. Uh, that. Okay. I'm off there. Uh, oh, okay, so I'm changing up into my next look. Oh, uh, Alexa. So. Oh, uh, oh hey, Shayla. Hey, niece. How you doing? And, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh, um, I'll make sure I tell Bubba. Bubba just stepped out the door. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, Bubba just stepped out the door. Uh, I'll make sure I tell him. He said, hey. And so, um, yeah, me and Bubba hanging out together today. Bubba's being in my company, hanging out with me. And Alexa. I start timing this. I don't even know how long I've been talking. Is this thing charging? Um, continue the music, please. And hang out with me. Listen to the music. Walk or change clothes, because this is today a fashion day for me. A fashion day. Alexa. <coughs> Shayla, say hey. Hey. Shayla, say hey. Hey. Say hey. Hey, baby. Um... Uh, Oh, did I, did I, turn, I turned this around that way, right? Okay. And, oh, this just got so, you can, you can do so much with this thing. Do this one. Because when you, I guess it would be okay walking along the beach and let it drag. Because it, it just drag. Oh, can you, can you see it? Oh, yeah, it drags. It really drags the floor. And I like the way it drags. It's very floor. It's very floor very nicely. But uh, I wanna see, I don't wanna get all frayed up dragging the floor. But it might be and then I imagine if you're walking on the beach, the sand is pretty rough. Yeah. And it will kinda make the edges even walking on the beach. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I wonder. Maybe drag more. You know what I mean? Um Wait. But anyway, but it's cute to be just lounging around in. I'm gonna pull the sleeves up. And you can just wear this so many different ways. Oh, and then, well, and get it out your way. So, oh, this, this just would have been, oh, and then uh, kind of wear it over your shoulder as like a uh, sarong. Oh, it's cute. I like it. Uh, and then, what you talking about? Right back. Alexa! Continue with the music, please. I just thought about this. I hope I ain't offend none of my uh, Christian relatives. Well, well, uh, well, 
Christian relative. But guess what? I'm gonna go so far as um, I, ain't, I ain't talking about nobody. I ain't talking about nobody. But guess what? Uh, but I was gonna apologize if I. You know what? I'm not gonna say this. I was just gonna say something else. But that would be kind of mean and rude. If I say that, I want. Oh well, you know what? I'm gonna say it because they ain't got no, they ain't got no a problem shining me. They ain't got no problem shining me. And so look, I, um, I apologize to my Christians, but I don't apologize to my Jehovah Witnesses, Christians. They shun me. Oh well, I apologize to everybody, but. Oh I'm kind of torn between this one. I apologize to my Christians. My Jehovah Witnesses Christians. Oh, but damn, let's do this anyway. Well, I'm gonna say fuck. <laughs> Be nice, be nice, just be alone. Just be alone. They ain't watch me anyway. But look, but look, they ain't watch me anyway. But let them get worse. She said, fuck them with your witness. She used to be a Joe witness. Yeah, you used to be a Joe witness. I was, because I thought it was the way. I, I, I thought it was the way. It's not. You know what I'm going to say? Oh, you know what? Then, then let me clear the air on this while I'm not a Jehovah's Witness anymore. Perfect opportunity. Thank you, Spirit. Uh, Alexa, pause the music again. Can't okay, help Facebook blocking me out. So when I need to uh, do this uh, PSA. Alexa, thank you. Block, pause the music, please. Yeah. What what my mug say? Let me read that again. It say, live like you are wealthy. Have a wealthy mind. Ooh, I got a wealthy mindset because I got a, I got a music play. Alexa. Hey, she had my back and call. Yes, I'm living fabulous over here. And so let me, let me take the opportunity. Well, I'm living fabulous over here. Uh, let me take the opportunity to explain why I am not a Jehovah Witness anymore. I will forever be a witness of Jehovah. I consider myself a witness of the true God of Jehovah. I'm a witness in the fact that like when you get called to a court to trial and you got to stand as a witness. Yeah. I am a witness to the fact that God is God. I'm a witness to the fact that God wakes me up every day. I'm a witness to the fact that woo, after I have played so many times, God, please help me with my foul mouth, potty mouth words. God loves me anyway and say, girl, do it again. He ain't struck and how long I've been doing this and he ain't struck me down yet and he and he ain't made me a mute and took my voice because I'm cursing too much. I'm a witness that God is good. I'm a witness to the fact the sun rises and it sets. I see that. Like, oh, the sun rises and it sets today. I'm a witness to that. God did that. So I am and will forever be a witness of Jehovah. But not one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, because, I, and what made me come to that to say that? Uh, because I thought Jehovah's Witnesses' um, religion was the way. They are not. Not for me. But they are God. You know what? I would say that they, the organization does have, have God's blessing because um, God took me through that route, that journey to learn what I needed to learn, to take out what I needed to take out before He plucked me out. They got you now, girl. I totally. You personally from here on in. Don't need you don't need the elders or the shepherds to tell you. That's that speaks to you. As as well, I speak to every individual. Now, how many how many billions of people on the planet? And they need a human shepherd? God is the great shepherd that instructs us all. If you if you um and the reason why my departure from the organization is um, in me discovering spirituality, which is separate from religion. Spirituality and religion, it's not a good mix. Because spirituality is what gets you to a higher plane of, um, you know, communication and, and a oneness with God. And religion, that's a fucked up shit. No, it is. Uh, and so, when I practice spirituality and fuck religion, kicked out my life, you know, um, 
the organization does not teach you to practice spirituality and that quiet yourself. There ain't no elders, no shepherds, no whatever. Yeah, uh, quiet yourself. Meditation. They they do not expose or what they say meditate on the word of God. Well, okay, read the Bible, read the Bible, you know, then meditate. No, I'm saying meditate on the word. You need to meditate your whole mind, body, and soul and get a connection with God. That's what I do. They don't, they don't teach it. They don't ex expose it. They don't expound. They don't, they don't even talk about it. Expound it on it. They don't even speak on it. So if you don't speak on it, you ain't gonna expound on anything. So me coming with God as my true one shepherd, God brought me to this conclusion. But as like I said, I don't uh, denounce. Well, I do denounce the organization. I don't denounce God. I denounce the organization and that the organization um, does not, you know, teach you to, you know, quiet yourself. Quiet yourself, you know, sit and meditate and find your one connection with God because God resides in each and every one of us. You know, God don't just talk to the few and then to tell the rest of the people. Because uh, a lot of motherfuckers, if, sorry if I say motherfuckers, but a lot of people, if they quiet themselves, God talking to people all the all the time, and they curse again. God be talking. God be talking to people all the time. Their their consciousness. That they, they say, "Ooh, I'm gonna make this nasty post. I'm gonna tell it. That, yeah, I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna undercut her. Ooh, I'm gonna make this not this nasty snide remark." They, are people consciousness really that dull to say, "Wait a minute, hold up. No, let me say that." Don't let me be rude. Don't let me be nasty. Because um, if you have a consciousness that pops in to say, you know what? Don't say that. Don't do that. You can steal something. Don't, don't, don't. Keep your hands clean. Don't steal it. Don't pickpocket. Don't, don't, don't. Don't do anything bad. But when you ignore it, and, and that's really God talking to you. Your consciousness God talking to you. Don't do that. You know better. Don't do that. But when people are like, fuck, I'm doing it anyway. You're ignoring God. You, in essence, you truly are. When you ignore your higher power, your your consciousness to tell you, you know, don't, mm -mm, don't do that. Don't do that. You're ignoring God. But then, I just said this stuff. And then, so, I guess, yeah, well, God does reside in me because, yeah, God be sometimes like, oh, don't say that. And I catch myself, it'll be good. Don't say that. And then um, when I just, oh, I don't keep it raining on it. And it blurs out, and I get to saying, ooh, the mother. Yeah, I get to saying all that. Uh, then I think, I take it as, well, I'm not really ignoring God. I think just God just let loose, you know, of the reins. A little bit, you know what I'm saying? He, because God still got, He still got, him. you know, like a dog on a leash. Oh, hold back now. You know how a dog on a leash, you want to, you know, get a mother, you know, bite somebody, and you got to pull them back on a leash. A guy got me on a leash, but sometimes he get a, he give me a little slap. Either, but I'm gonna let you go so far. Yeah, so. Take it as that. God, let me go so far. Okay, uh, change up to number. This is another octave. Uh, okay. Uh, and these. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, well, yeah. And so this is. Okay. Oh shit. Huh. Keeping y'all company and for keeping other company, but I know you're waiting. So it's like you're sitting over there, sitting in my living room. And so let me keep you company while you're waiting on me to change my outfit. So this is whatever day. Uh, change up. Alexa! Oh, she being hard ahead. Uh, continue with the music, please. <laughs> I'm on the block, but I pass, it's looking like they need oxygen masses. I make it hard to but I keep the clocks in the masses, cause the cops 
Let's shoot. Look, let's shoot. Let's shoot a shooter. That's cool. Be back. Uh, 
So, uh, I guess I'll, oh, but, how much more time you got? It's because, um, um, I'm not going to do my change up no more, and you just catch the rest of the change up on the video, because I'm, because when I'm done, I'm changing clothes, I'm done. Um, and so, yeah, because I was going to sit up here while I did my little change out, um, model stuff, but I'm going to just record all this for myself, and, um, then I guess I'll click this back on later. Um, hanging out with Butler and hey Phil Ho, hey there, how you doing today this beautiful Wednesday May 26th, something like that I think probably but, let's see. 28th, May 28th today, oh, so, oh, it can't be 26th, it might be 25th oh it is, wow yeah, that's why I said May 26th, okay uh, happy uh, Wednesday, May 26th uh Hill hole. Uh, so, yeah, this little number right here is so. Yeah, you party in the daytime, and then when it gets night, you gotta take this and then at night. Yeah, make it as a, a little cover up. And, uh, I guess I'm gonna put this back on later when I put my outfit on. Yeah, but this, this is my other little uh, flat chested uh, change up. I guess some people probably like, is she, is she really a man? Cause she's so skinny and got no, well, I used to have a nice feel. Ooh, Auntie Minnie Beasley, tell you that girl? Yeah, I used to have a nice feel. Uh, but look, so now I'm like, I look like a changed over person. I look like, damn, did she used to be a man? That little Adam Apple. <laughs> no, ain't that damn man. That's a lady neck. Um, but I am kind of skinny, like maybe I used to be a man. Not okay, good. <laughs> but but no. Well, those that don't know me, they could be like, uh, I wonder if that a boy that used to be a man that used, uh, is that a lady that used to be a man? Cause look how flesh chest she is. Yeah, I'm a lady. I had any baby. Uh, I'll be back. I don't like that because sometimes I want to because you know, I mean, because you can't tell nowadays because you know, you can't tell. I'll be right back. Three, And so, so then, when I started working on my uh, exercise, you know, working my, yeah, yeah, okay. So when I started working on my exercise, yeah, look, this is just lip. I ain't shaved yet. Um, so, but look, you think that's something? You think that's nice? When I started working out, woo, you get cuts all the way, woo. 
And ooh, and booty pie there? Like, yeah, I'm gonna have a booty like that. I'm gonna have a booty, that's it. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a kind of booty when I start working out. And then, yeah. Uh, so this is my before. I, this is gonna be part of my before and after for when I start doing my exercise. Now, pop my booty up. Put my booty up, Butler. I got some booty up. You got some booty up. Butler said he got something to pop it up. Yeah, he used to have something to pop it up. Not no more. Yeah. That's not no more. The bullet the other days is over with. Right, Butler? The, the tell to shame the devil. Uh, like what I was saying earlier. I must have been on long enough. We're gonna probably turn this off today. We're gonna Facebook can't turn it off yet. So um so yeah. We me and Butler, me and you are living proof, living testimony, living proof that um there is life after marriage. There is life after divorce of of if um motherfuckers they used to be in love. So me and Butler, we were in love. We we'll still do love each other, but we're not in love with each other, right? So we. Oh well, he's still in love with me. I'm not in love with him, but I do love Butler. I, well, I love Butler. Butler know I love him. You know I love you, right? Yeah, Butler know I love him. I, I, I love Butler, but I'm not in love with Butler. Butler know that, and but I still maintain a friendship with Butler. We maintain a friendship with, with each other, and so I think that is, um, yeah, it's possible. It's, it's possible, because like I was saying before, oh, Alexa, pause this. Okay, okay I'm going to do this shit twice. So, like I was saying before, um, it's like after marriage. Uh, well, well, not like after marriage. Well, it's like after marriage, because I got a life now. I finally got a life. Hey, I finally got a life. After marriage, because I ain't had no motherfucking life while I was married. Right, brother? Yep. <laughs> well, brother knows I was not this happy. Right, brother? Right. And now, what do you always say, brother? We happy apart. Huh? We happy apart. Yeah, we are happy apart. And we get along good. And that that is a testament to the fact that there, are, you know, you can still be friends. So, ooh, me and brother, we got to the point of, we got to the point with me and Bella, ooh. Don't tell it, Joshua. Yeah, I can tell it. Me and Bella, we couldn't stand each other. Woo! It, it, it got ugly and bitter. Because we were some motherfuckers to each other. We was motherfucker bitches and all that. We couldn't stand any motherfucking each other. We couldn't st motherfucking stand each other. Woo! It got awful. But, by God's grace, by God's goodness and grace, we good friends today. Right? That's right. That's right. Because uh, by the grace of God and because the Bible does extol forgiveness, love, you know, and I, do, I believe it's in Leviticus 19.18 where it says, do not hold a grudge. The scriptures tell you. The scriptures tell you. Oh, his shoes match his shirt. It looks good. Uh, yeah, the, the scriptures tell you don't hold a grudge. And so me being... A follower of the Bible, a, a a follower of Christ, because I do model after Christ. I ain't a Christian, but I do model after Christ. In that, hey, I um, you know, hold a grudge. Yeah, so yeah, that's why. Uh, <clears throat> and that's a, well, uh, and even though I don't hold a grudge, and I'm not holding a grudge, but I know my boundaries, and I know what you know, um, the things I got to do to you know, the relationship. Um, Make me happy to keep my peace. Excuse me. <clears throat> That's why Paula hanging over here with me over here because yeah, um, I gotta forego my uh, what I dub as my Airbnb Butler place. Cause yeah, me and Butler, we don't get along all the time. We do not get along all the time. No, we don't. I need my space. He need his space. Uh, I think I got another change out. I think I got another change out. And, oh, I do got another change out. <laughs> I'll be back. Alexa, resume with the music, please, and keep my, uh, keep my family company. <laughs> Oh, this is the last outfit. I'm going to put the last outfit. 
it's a lot darker. The mess there. It's all ready to send it back, and I'm, Amazon said uh, they're gonna give me a refund, and I can have it for free. They keep it. I gotta send it back. And I'm like, thank you, God. Thank you. So now I like it. Everybody kind of like it. I'm gonna send it back. I'm like, I'm gonna send this back. This is the color I want. But now that I can, I can have it for free, I love it. It's the color I want. Like. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna chill out on this all day. I'm gonna wear this. I'm chilling out on this. This is my outfit for the day. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I am done hanging out with Bella because Bella got a doctor's appointment, and Bella said he gonna come back and uh, come back to Deborah's Playhouse because today is a hodgepodge day. It's gonna be well. I hope not the vent. I really hope not to get But hey, uh, but sometimes it, that's out of my control. That's out of my control because if um, God would have to say something, spirit comes down on me. It comes up. I can't help that. So, hey, I'm just a public guy. I'm yeah, a public guy. But God controls it. Yeah, God controls this. Yeah, so if it comes out, hey. Take it up with God. Take it up with God. I'm just trying to clear up my mouth. And look, if y'all if y'all hear something that y'all don't like me, take it up with God. Don't complain to me. Take it up with God. Because Spirit came down on me to say what I got to say to the people. So, uh, oh yeah, uh, so bye. And uh, I'm uh, brother going to come back from his doctor's appointment. And uh, it's going to be a play day. And it's, we're going to dance. And we're going to have a, a fun day today. It's going to be a video day today. Okay, bye. See y'all later. Bye.